Welcome back to the farmstead. This morning we are cooking ourselves up a bunny hop brunch and it's gonna be yummy. We're gonna make some lime cupcakes, we're gonna make some bite-sized quiches, and we're gonna have some lemonade to go with it all. So let's get started. To make our cake we're gonna start with a plain old yellow cake mix but not the package, just the mix. We're going to add a package of vanilla pudding. Pudding always makes cakes so moist. One package, vanilla. We're going to add four eggs. One. Two. And I'm saving the shells and I'm going to cook those for an hour at 200 degrees and then we'll crush them up and we'll use them as fertilizer in the garden for our tomatoes. So there's our four eggs. We're going to add a half a cup of oil and then we need six ounces of limeade. Now if you don't want lime you could do lemonade. That's good too. But this is a 12 ounce package container whatever this is and I'm just going to scoop out half of it. Now this was frozen and I stuck it into the microwave for about 20 seconds and it's just right. We're going to save the other half we'll make some limeade after a while. So there's our limeade. There we go. Alright, got my little hand mixer ready. Oh, that's pretty yellow, but I want it green. I'm adding a few drops of green food coloring. My goal is to get it just a little bit green so you'll know it's lime. Let's see what we can do. That's pretty. Perfect. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water. That is a little thick. Just a splash. Much better. Right. Put that over here out of the way. All the way down to the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Isn't that pretty? All right. Now, that's out of the way. We'll need those later. I have my cupcake pan and I have little cupcake holders. Got these. Pack of 30 at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to set these in here. I'm going to fill these about half full. Oh, I go find my scoop. Finished in the dishwasher. 
had a panicky moment last weekend. I thought my dishwasher was going out. That was frightening. Especially after I priced a new one. But I guess it just had something stuck in it because it eventually worked itself out. Okay, I'm a scoop. Alright, got my scoop. Let's try out with one scoop in each cup. And an ice cream scoop like this makes it so easy to get it consistent and to get it right where you want it to go. I've got my oven preheated to 350. Perfect. Now, off to the oven. 350, 12 to 15 minutes. We'll keep an eye on them. I'm going to set my timer for 12 and we'll check. Now, while our cupcakes are in the oven, I've got the timer set so I won't let them overbake. We're going to start on our quiches. Now, I've got one package of the puff pastry sheets. They come in the freezer. I've let this one sit out in the refrigerator overnight. So it should be just right to work with. You want it to be cold. The puff pastry has lots of butter in it. You don't want it really melted. All right. There we go. And this is two sheets. I'm going to take one. Roll it like that. And I'm not going to roll this out any more than it already is. Um, you can if you're doing other things with puff pastry, but I'm not for this application. I have my biscuit cutters. I have a set of different sizes, and I think that this one is going to be the right size. So we're going to try it and see. This is the smallest. If it's not, we'll go up. So I have a little bowl of flour. I'm going to dip it in there. I'm going to cut a ring. All right. Now I'm going to spray this, which I probably should have already done. Spray this really well. And it's just a little mini cupcake pan. Okay. Now let's get this out. See if this is going to be right now once I put this in here I might press it around a little bit yeah let's try one bigger that that does I bet I'm gonna like that smaller one better No, I think this is too much. We're gonna go back to the smaller ones, but I'm gonna leave that one and we'll just see how it comes out in the end. All right, so back to the smaller one. Cut, and we'll line them all up. I'm going to save this. I'll roll that all up and then roll it out and then make some cinnamon sticks or something. 
My grandmother used to do that when she made pie crust. It's my favorite part. One of these days I'm going to learn to make pie crust. I keep saying that. One day I'll actually do it. Well, there we go. I'm going to get a plate to lay this on. We'll work on that after we get the rest. Set this to the side. All right, got our little crust in our pan. Cupcakes are out of the oven and they are cooling on a rack. Now let's mix up some filling for this. Let's start moving everything into a little bit. We've got some ham, we got some kale, salt and pepper. We got our four eggs we're gonna use for this. Save the shells, use them for fertilizer. Uh oh. There we go. We got four eggs. We got a third of a cup of milk and about a half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. We're gonna whisk that up. Okay. Now this is a little package of ham that. I had bought probably last fall and put in the freezer. I like to buy the spiral cut hams when they're on sale and cook one if we're, if it's, you know, when we're going to eat one. And then the other one or whatever's left over, I will cut up and put in vacuum seal bags and put in the freezer in individual like serving size or like the size pack we would use for our lunch meat sometime. That way it is much more cost effective than buying just a pack of lunch meat at the time. And you have a whole pack whenever you need it. Whenever you just need a little bit like I did today, we have that ready. And whatever's left of this, I'll just have for lunch today. And cut it up in pretty small chunks. Right. Put it in our bowl. I've got some baby kale that I was going to use for I'm going to use for another project, but I want just a little bit of color, so we're going to add a, just a couple leaves in there and cut it up. You won't really taste it, but it'll add a little color. And cut it up, pretty small links like this. Like I say, I'm just adding it for the color. Right, so we've got ham and our eggs. Oh, let's lay a little cheese. Finely shredded four cheese billion that we use so much. Yeah. 
half a cup, give or take. Mix that all up. Right. Get our, our small scoop. Oops, there it is. Let's go with little pants. One full scoop is going to be a little much, so I'm going to maybe make it just shy of a full scoop. Try to get a little bit of all the good stuff in each scoop. Oh. There we go. Now left our oven preheated at 350 degrees, just like we put cupcakes in. I'm going to put these in there and leave them for 20 to 25 minutes, and we'll check them again. I'm going to decorate my cupcakes with this plain vanilla frosting. And these are little small containers of frosting that I like to keep on hand. I don't use a lot of frosting when I bake a cake. A lot of times we'll just like the cake without the frosting. Makes me think I'm cutting down on the calories anyway. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. But in this case, they need a little frosting. So we're going with vanilla and we're going to add some springtime sprinkles. I think there's even a bunny or two in there. 
holding over a bowl so I can recoup any of the lost sprinkles. Because I usually make a bigger mess than I did here, actually. But these little containers I can keep in the pantry. These are about half the size that you would get at like Walmart or Kroger. These I actually get at the Dollar Tree, I believe, or Family Dollar. And they're perfect size for us. So, another pantry staple for me. Now, in thinking about the things that I was going to make for a brunch, I like to have something sweet, of course, because who doesn't have a sweet tooth? And I like to have something savory. So the saltiness of the ham and the quiche really balances out the sweetness of the cupcake. And it really works well if you hold one in one hand and one in the other. That's called a balanced diet. Or at least in my book it does. But the main thing is just have fun. Cook the things that you love. Cook the things that your family loves. And make it special. Add a few sprinkles. Add too many sprinkles. Because sometimes over the top is just right. Really put some thought into what you're going to have to drink along with your sweet and savory. A hot coffee with French vanilla creamer, hot tea, or maybe some orange juice. Maybe even a little champagne in that orange juice for brunch. But just make it fun. So there we have it, our bunny hop brunch. We've got our quiche with ham and eggs and kale and cheese on puff pastry. And the small ones definitely worked out. The bigger cut, not so much. We've got cupcakes, limeade, frosted with vanilla, and some sprinkles. Gotta have the sprinkles. We've got our extra cinnamon sticks. We put some frosting on the little ones that are rolled up like cinnamon rolls. We made up the rest of our limeade. And we've got some pink lemonade. So there we go. Now that says springtime. Hope you and your family have a wonderful spring and Easter season. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.